everyone. My name is Tianlein and today we talk about the upcoming Gates of Oblivion celebration event for the Elder Scrolls Online. As always, we find timestamps in the video description and also a guide on my website. The Gates of Oblivion celebration event is the remembrance of ESO content of the year 2021. During this event, you can earn unique rewards by participating in various activities in Blackwood and the Deadlands. And as well from the Dread Cellar, Red Petal Bastion, Black Drake Villa and the Colton Dungeons. We don't have yet an official starting date for the event, but we know that the event will be active in November 2023. To be able to participate, you need to own Blackwood and the Deadlands DLC, and maybe, if you want to earn extra loot, also the four dungeons of the year. If you have an active ESO Plus subscription, you can access all event-related zones and dungeons. To start the event, you can directly travel to Blackwood and the Deadlands. Or you can start the event tutorial quest Burdensome Beast for free from the Crown Store or speak directly to the quest giver Plo Kun out in the wilderness of Blackwood. During the event, you can earn double rewards for defeating World Boss, Self Boss and Oblivion Portal enemies, for completing daily repeatable quests in Blackwood and the Deadlands, for defeating bosses within the Rockgrove Trial, for defeating bosses within the Dread Cellar, Red Petal Bastion, Black Drake Villa and the Coltrane Dungeons, and double yield from harvesting nodes in Blackwood and the Deadlands. During the Gates of Oblivion celebration, you can earn glorious coffers and regular reward coffers. Completing your first daily readable quest in Blackwood or the Deadlands will award a glorious coffer. Furthermore, you can find sometimes regular coffers by completing more daily readable quests and participating in activities within Blackwood and the Deadlands. Other activities are for example killing Delve, World, Public Dungeon or Oblivion Portal bosses. Oblivion Portal Final Chests, Random Enemies in Blackwood and the Deadlands, Treasure Chests and Safe Boxes, resource nodes, thief droves, or by pickpocketing NPCs. Please note that regular reward coffers have a reduced chance of providing special rewards. And you can earn glorious dungeon coffers once per day by defeating the final boss of the Dread Cellar, Red Petal Bastion, Black Drake Villa, or the Cauldron Dungeon. Of course, you can also earn more reward coffers if you want to complete the dungeons multiple times. Note, if you defeat a final dungeon boss on veteran difficulty, you will get two reward coffers. If one of these would be eligible for a glorious coffer, you will get one glorious coffer and one regular coffer. You have a chance to find inside glorious coffers and regular reward coffers, crafting materials, set and style items from the Blackwood or Deadlands, set and style items from dungeons, treasure maps or survey reports, furnishing recipes, available treasures, Companion gear, if with Fallen Woods die pages, die pages from the Deadlands and the Blackwood DLC, die pages from the Dungeon DLCs. Now we will talk about the daily repeatable quests in Blackwood. In Blackwood, you can find Delve and Cooper's daily repeatable quests. Etum Jar in Leowin will offer you one of six Delve daily repeatable quests. Rita Silanus in Leowin will offer you one of six Cooper's daily repeatable quests. You can pick up only one Delve and one Cooper's daily per character per day. But it is possible to complete all six Delve dailies and all six Cooper's dailies if you group up with other players and ask them to share the quest. You can also complete one weekly try repeatable quest in Blackwood. Dust on Scales offers you the quest of Stone and Steam for the Rockgrove trial. When you enter the trial, you'll find a weekly quest giver at the entrance area. Next, I will explain where you can find a daily repeatable quest in the Deadlands. There are two types of daily repeatable quests in the Deadlands available. Both daily quest givers can be found in the Farcraft City District and are immediately unlocked. Speak to Aveli Indavil to start a daily world boss repeatable quest. And Luna Beryl offers you the daily death repeatable quest. During the Gates of Oblivion celebration event, you can earn two event tickets per day per account from following activities. Completing your first daily delve or world boss repeatable quest in Blackwood or the Deadlands, killing and looting the final boss of the Dread Cellar, Red Petal Bastion, Black Drake Villa and the Colton Dungeons, or completing the weekly repeated trial quest for the Rockcroft Trial. 
which means this time you can choose which activity you like the most to obtain your event tickets each day. As always, the Impresario Event Merchant will open her shop during the Gates of Oblivion Celebration event. This year she is offering the Passion Dancer Blossom Fragments, the first and second fragment for the Horde Hunter Ozark Mount, If It's Fallen Wood Style Pages and more. The Intrigue Vendor will also open her shop during the event. She offers during the fourth quarter of 2023 Nesten Intrigue Feathers, Dew Snow Intrigue Berries and Crimson Intrigue Berries. You can also purchase the Frostlight Intrigue Pet and the Rose Thorn Intrigue Pet. Video Store Me, the Impresario's assistant, will also open a shop during this event. He offers during the fourth quarter of 2023 Unstable Morphlet Pet Fragments and Agoni Quasi Griff Mount Fragments. Thanks for watching and it would be wonderful if you subscribe, like or leave me a comment. And a big shout out to all the amazing community members who support us on YouTube and Kofi. Have a nice day and until next time. Toodles!